What's up guys? This is a subscriber request video. So I'm gonna make a video on how to use the mouse toggle with the Xfinity and other apps. If this is your first time using the mouse toggle, or if this is your first time using the Xfinity app, you should know off the bat that you will need a mouse toggle in order for the Xfinity app to work. So since this is a video to illustrate and demonstrate how to use a mouse toggle, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the mouse toggle that I've already have installed on my Fire Stick. So I'm gonna go over to the applications, my manage install applications, and I'm gonna go down to I see mouse toggle. This particular version is 1.10. The version that I'm going to download is a 1.11 if I'm correct and I believe it works a little bit better than this particular version. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to clear out my cache and my data. Then I'm going to uninstall it. You just don't want to leave anything laying around. So right now I'm going to uninstall the mouse toggle. I'm going to hit the back button twice. And I just want to make sure a couple of things are in order before we move forward. I want to make sure developer options, ADB debugging, and apps for unknown sources are both on. If those are both on, you can go ahead and click back to your home button or your home screen. back to the home screen. Go down until you see your apps and channels. Click one spot to the left until you see see all, select see all. And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and activate our mouse toggle. So select mouse toggle with your remote. As you can see in the lower left corner, the status should say started. If that status is started, that means you're good to go. The mouse toggle is ready to use. If this pops up, you want to always allow from your computer. So we're going to check that and we're going to press OK. So if you see the allow USB debugging, go ahead and select always allow from this computer. Then select OK. Once again, the status is started. That means the mouse toggle is ready to use. In some instances, the enable the mouse services and auto start may be disabled. What you want to do at this point, you want to use your Fire Stick remote to enable the mouse toggle by clicking the play pause button twice. One, two. At this point, you should see a glowing circle. That's your mouse toggle right there. So you just want to make sure that these two are all the way over to the right and not to the left because if it's over to the left, it hasn't started yet. So I'm gonna move that one. And as you can see, my status has changed from started to stopping. So we wanna make sure those are enabled. So I'm gonna click it back one more time. And at this point to navigate from enable the mouse service to auto start, you don't need to use the mouse toggle. You can just use the joystick part of the fire stick and it will move up and down as you can see right here. So that the mouse toggle is started, let's go back to the home screen. And people have been having major problems navigating through Xfinity with the mouse toggle. So I'm gonna show you how to navigate using your mouse toggle. So let me go ahead and start up the Xfinity app. And as you can see, those three lines in the upper left corner is your menu. If you click one time, down, as you can see, the menu is not highlighted anymore. That means that you're not using your mouse toggle at this point to navigate and the joystick is disabled. It won't do anything for you. So at this point, you wanna go ahead and activate the mouse toggle by clicking on your play pause button of the fire stick twice. One, two. And as you can see over in the right, upper corner is the mouse toggle. I'll move up some so you can see it. There's my mouse toggle right there. 
I'm gonna move it to the center right here so you can see it even better. That's the mouse toggle. So to disable the mouse toggle, you click the play pause button one time, one, and you move the joystick to the left, two, it disappeared. To activate it, click the play pause button twice, one, two, there's your mouse toggle. To deactivate it, click it one time, one, and move your joystick to the left or the right. Activate, one, two, play pause button, deactivate, click the play pause button one time and move your joystick one time to the left or the right. One, joystick move. So that's how we activate and deactivate the mouse toggle. Play with it a couple of times until you get used to it. It makes everything that much easier to navigate through this particular app and other applications. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. One, two, there's our mouse toggle. And I'm gonna go back over to the menu section right here. The menu is highlighted with the mouse toggle. I'm gonna go ahead and press one time, center of the joystick. Then I'm gonna go down to live TV, for example. Live TV. Now once you have this up, you wanna disable the mouse toggle again so you can use the joystick to navigate up and down. So I'm gonna disable the mouse toggle one more time. Click the play pause button one time, one, and the joystick to the left or right. Now the mouse toggle has been disabled. And as you can see, the menu has been highlighted again. So now you can take your fire stick joystick and move up and down. So just say I'm gonna select CNN. I'll click my joystick one time. And there you have CNN.